stop and wait protocol so here it sends a single frame and wait for the acknowledgement before sending the next frame among all the protocols it is the simplest of three protocols so the window size is always one for this type of protocol the sender transmits one packet at a time and waits for an acknowledgement from the receiver before sending the next packet so if the acknowledgement is not received within a certain time the sender retransmits the packet so it is mainly suitable for channels with low error rates low data rates and short distance communication process starts with the sender transmits a frame so if the receiver sends an acknowledgement means the frame is received correctly so the sender has to wait for the acknowledgement so after receiving the acknowledgement the sender transmits the next frame so this is the data packets that has been transmitted so after transmitting it receives the acknowledgement only this sender sends one packet as the window size is one if the receiver successfully receiving the packet it sends an acknowledgement to the sender so after that it sends the next packet data is lost or the acknowledgement has been lost the sender has to retransmit the data after a certain time so it retransmits the original packet again some scenarios so here the sender receiver so the data sent by the sender it receives the receiver but the acknowledgement sent by the receiver has not reaches the sender so after the time out it retransmits the data again then proper acknowledgement has been received so the receive sends an acknowledgement instead of a negative acknowledgement because in every sequence of frame a sequence number has been attached to the sender packet there are some limitations of this stop and wait protocol it is having very low efficiency so it is ideal for most of the time and waiting for acknowledgements so it consumes a lot and lot of time and it is having a high latency that causes an inefficiency in the network the next type is go back in automatic repeat request here the sender can send multiple frames without waiting for the acknowledgement but it should keep a copy of all unacknowledgement frames here normally the sender transmits a window of packets to the receiver if the receiver detects an error in the packet it sends a negative acknowledgement and asks the sender to retransmit the packet again so as well as all subsequent packets in that window should be transmitted so the sender retransmits the entire window of packets that were not correctly received so in the first step the sender sends multiple packets so after sending the multiple packets it receives the acknowledgement in a sequential manner then after the time out or the data that sent by the sender has been lost or corrupted the sender retransmit the packet including the lost packet lost acknowledgement diagram flow step one it sends in frames then receiving acknowledgement for the received frames so if a frame is lost then the sender has to send all frames from the window consider this simple example so it is a total data size of 10 here the window size is 4 so it calculates from 0 1 2 3 okay so 0 1 2 3 so this is the window size so the data frame has been sent to the receiver this is a first step then after receiving the frame 0 it sends an acknowledgement once receiving the acknowledgement of frame 0 the sliding window moves to one point to the left side then it sends the frame 4 after sending the frame 4 it receives the acknowledgement of frame 1 then the window move further to let's say then 5 has been sent the acknowledgement for the frame 2 has been not received by the sender due to some error so it discarded both the previously sent packets so the receiver is not yet received the packet 2 correctly so it asks the sender to transmit the whole frames present in the window so 2 3 4 5 has been sent again by the sender advantage of this go back and automatic repeat request so the efficiency has been improved further 
because it can send a multiple frames before waiting for the acknowledgement then implementation is very simple as the sender only needs to retransmit the packed frames from point of the loss the advantage of using this method is it requires buffer for retransmit to the packets because rather sending the lost frame it has to send all the frames present in the window method is selective repeat protocol so it is a type of error control protocol used in data communication ensuring reliable delivery of data over a noisy channel so unlike the previous two methods rather transmitting the entire window of packets the selective repeat method retransmitted the particular frame that were not correctly received by the receiver advantage of this method so the receiver acknowledge packets in order but only it retransmit the specific packets that are lost or corrupted based on a sliding window technique to manage the packets that allowing multiple packets to send without waiting for the acknowledgement then timeout mechanism so packets are retransmitted so the sender doesn't receive the acknowledgement in a particular amount of time so consider this simple example here is a sender and this is a receiver so it is the window size so 0 1 2 3 4 so the window size is 4 so for that frame 0 we can get the acknowledgement so for frame 1 we can get acknowledgement ending the frame 2 the data has been lost then it transmit the next frame continuously frame 3 and frame 4 but after some amount of time a negative acknowledgement is received from the receiver for the frame 2 that particular frame has been recent so the remaining frames the 3 4 will not be discarded by the receiver the remaining frames has not been discarded by the receiver but in previous type of go back in protocol that frames has been discarded so in order only it can be receiving so here in case of this selective repeat it is receiving the frames and the sending negative acknowledgement to the non received frame so once after receiving the frame 2 then it has the acknowledgement of the previous frames so it saves a lot of time when compared to previous methods selective repeat method here the sender transmit the frames so after transmitting the receiver acknowledge the frames even if other frames are lost the sender retransmit the lost frames alone so instead of sending the total frames in the window it sends only the lost frames some pros and cons with it so it in increases the efficiency as it minimizing the retransmission and the throughput also has been increased the complexity of the network is somewhat increased because it requiring a buffering and sequence number to manage the retransmission purpose uh, thank you for watching the video meet you in the next video till then it's goodbye from vijay